The government's hasty exit from Parliament during Mark Golding's budget presentation on Tuesday continues to spark controversy amidst scrutiny of the appointment of House Speaker Juliet Holness. Gender politics has surged to the forefront of the heated political debate, with the JLP labeling Golding's critique as inherently misogynistic. Ramon Gordon has this story. Unsettling. Tuesday's government walkout, ignited by opposition critiques on integrity, has been labeled by some pundits as a concerning display of temper. Former House Speaker Lloyd B. Smith says, though the opposition leader may have been indelicate in his approach, his concerns are valid. He was dealing with governance, and the issues that were being raised had to do with the whole matter of transparency and accountability, which are very essential to good governance. This is like a king submitting his throne. I don't know if perhaps the, the House rules will have to be revisited to ensure that this president does not become the norm. Golding's primary concern is the controversial appointment of House Speaker Juliet Holness, wife to the Prime Minister. Holness ascended to the seat back in September in a vote backed by the opposition. Madam Speaker, I join with my colleague in congratulating you on the ascension to the chair of Speaker of this great house. Smith also criticizes the PNP, saying they should have voiced concerns earlier. The situation where you have the Prime Minister's wife being the Speaker of the House and he's being the head of government, that there is going to be some amount of, you know, suspicion or, you know, unease. Mm -hmm. And as the saying goes in the wider political theory, Peter's wife must be above suspicion. In the hours subsequent to the unprecedented walkout, the government has ramped up its rebuke of Golding's statements. On social media, members of government continue to describe the sentiments as low and desperate. On the platform X, Cabinet Minister Kamina Johnson-Smith said, the PNP is working hard to take our politics to lower levels. I think it's becoming more and more clear that this is often with misogyny at its core. Culture Minister Olivia Babsy Grange also hurled allegations of chauvinism. However, social commentator Carol Narcis contends this is no gender debate. It can be framed that way if we want to obfuscate what are the real issues. A is the nature of the relationship between the Speaker of the House and the head of government such that it requires greater vigilance on the part of everyone. Two, are the actions, particularly with respect to the reports of the IC, is there an appearance or a, the possibility of appearance that the, the arrangement is one that could be conflictual? Yes, and we need to discuss it. I would want to see a return to the Vale Royal talk because we are going to have a prolonged silly season. It's a climate we should, we should wholly reject. It's a climate that we, as a nation, we need to call on our leaders for a sober, mature approach going into what will be a very close and hotly contested election. Ramon Gordon for CVM News.